Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm like totally psyched about this video because this is like the best video I have made ever. What the f am I talking like Valley Girl? Long story short, I took your test last September. So I think it's about time to let you guys in on the dark underbody of the tempestuous ordeal on my GRE journey. For the record, this video is not one of those tutorial videos. It's just me bitching about how much I hate GRE. I know, I know, I should have done this three months ago, right after I finished my test, but you know, there's always a bit of this, a bit of that, things just got in my way of making the video. Like, PhD application, master dissertation, or morning master. <laughs> I gotta edit this out. Well, I'm sure as hell GRE is not something fun to reminisce about. All you have to know is that GRE is abysmally, agonizingly, and apocalyptically f***ing hard test. I mean, even someone as brilliant as me had to go out to prepare for the test. Because GRE per se is designed for native English speakers. And I'm not even native. To prepare for GRE, I literally spend at least 10 hours working on it every day. In doing so, I even sacrificed my lovely beauty siesta. So, unlike most people who practice verbal or quant separately when they first prepare for the test, I took mock tests at the very beginning because I knew I needed a blow to my overconfidence. I still remember I got 310 for my first mock test, but that did not really hurt my self esteem because I thought if I could get 310 on my first try, there's no way I could not get 330 eventually. That, boys and girls, is when I was dead wrong, because in the end, I only got 329. Back to the preparation. So, during the first week of mock tests, my scores basically fluctuated between 310 and 319, but never got higher than 319. So, you can imagine how torn apart I was. My mental status pretty much went from overconfidence to depression to self-doubt to self-loathing. So, how did I snap out of this vicious cycle? For the record, there was no god with Morgan Freeman voice telling me what doesn't kill you makes you stronger than the little toddler. Doesn't mean I'm lonely when I'm alone. Just kidding. So, what really got me out of this is that on my eighth mock test, I got 320 and never got any scores lower than that ever since. So, after an intense mock test week, I started to practice verbal and quant respectively. And for those who claim GRE quant is easy, I'm gonna say this. Babes, you couldn't be more wrong. If Chinese like me couldn't get 170 out of 170, it is definitely f***ing difficult. So, I got 162 for verbal and 167 for quant. And for the writing part, I got 4 out of 6. I'm actually happy with my writing, given the fact I only spent about one day preparing for it. Well, I think I could have got a higher writing score had I finished the first task, but who else can I blame? I'm not a fast typer. Anyway, GRE is a very inhumane test. You better get yourself ready, physically and mentally, if you are to take the test. I would also suggest that you tell yourself you are going to reward your hard work if you get ideal results. I believe that would give you a real nice kick in the butt. I told myself I would buy a Nintendo Switch if I get good scores, but I didn't buy this baby until 3 months later. But that's another story. Anyway, I do love this little bitch. So that's pretty much my story with GRE. I wish you guys a happy time with GRE, and if not, do not f***ing kill yourself.